You know, one of the most interesting things that happened to me happened very early on in the series. I was going to Fredericksburg to study Elizabeth Monroe. The director of the Elizabeth Monroe and James Monroe Museum there in Fredericksburg kept talking about these hair earrings. He wanted me to see the hair earrings, and I wouldn't believe it when I saw the hair earrings. And I didn't really know what he was talking about. I thought it might be maybe a decorative charm or something that you would hang in a woman's hair to decorate the hair, being a hair earring. But when he handed me the earrings on some protective bunting in, in white gloves to, to preserve and keep everything nice, I looked down and I saw that the earrings were actually woven from Elizabeth Monroe's hair. See, what I didn't know was that hair jewelry was made in the 1700s as a sign of endearment, as, as, as a gift to a loved one. Uh, you would give it to a sister or a mother or something like that. Have uh, hair woven together and put in a brooch or something as, as a term of endearment. In the 1800s, it changes and becomes a sign of mourning or a symbol of mourning. And before you're given your final resting place, hair would be taken off and woven into some type of jewelry where you could be remembered by. And it was worn as a, as a sort of memoriam type of situation. So that's probably one of the craziest things I saw because it just came out of nowhere. I really wasn't expecting to be holding earrings woven from Elizabeth Monroe's hair.